Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today we are going to look at what's in my pack for 2021. Oh my, 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 oh my, 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 call me a king, you can buy me a crown, oh my, 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 oh my, 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 I'm leveled up, and this is my world. Look how red I am from just going through my pack. The outside, what am I doing? Okay, so currently the weight of my pack is 21.2 and that includes three days worth of food. I've got some uh, pruning to do. So this is my pack, a Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 Windrider. What I love about it, it is virtually waterproof. I'm just gonna start with what's on the outside of my pack. First off, um, this is my bag, okay? Um, this is the Kula cloth. I've never taken one of these before. It could um, end up uh, going away after the first few days. Um, I change up the way that I carry my pack um, and the way that I organize my pack based on the day. So right now, I'm assuming that I'm going to have a ton of water. Um, so I, in the outside, I have everything related to water. I have a Knock, Knock. Knock. Um, I have one that is two liters, and then I have one that is three liters. I plan to fill up both of these having a total of five liters and bringing two smart water bottles to start um, and then fill these up at mile 4.4 and that will be a total of seven mainly because I am planning on taking a total of three days to get through the 20 miles specifically because I'm having issues with my ankle and I haven't really trained all that much so I've got a Sawyer squeeze with a sport bottle cap um, I've got, this is that, oh shoot, uh, that thing that you put um, on the end to back flush, but you can also do like a, a gravity, uh, shoot, I'll just put it up there because I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like it in this little pouch just in case I have to go farther for water, then I just have to take this. Um, cook pot in my stove. I'm traditionally, or traditionally normally, a cold soaker. But this year, oh, I don't need this. Yay, I can subscribe, uh, scrap that from. Anyway, I'm taking the BRS 3000, got it on Amazon, very small. This is the stove itself inside a bag. I've got my lighter somewhere else, but in here, I'll put the fuel can in here, close it up, and then, um, just tie my little pot holder. This, uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it, uh, so I just put it on the outside for right now. Then, the very bottom, it's in a little steak sack. I actually put my spoon in here um, because I packed the whole thing, uh, wanting to show you guys, and then it was like, oh, my spoon. So I might as well put it with my steaks. Anyway, I'm taking the MRS uh, Groundhog or MSR, whatever. They're great. Um, um, I like to put them down here in after I put everything in my pack. Um, usually, if I don't have a, a pot, a pot, I'll put my water bag in here and then I will actually put um, my toiletries or my um, potty stuff um, right here. So for now, I've just got it on the side of my bag, but I'm gonna be putting it here when I'm not carrying all that water. The Tent Lab Deuce uh, Ultralight Trowel, um, hand sanitizer. I went ahead and got rid of the bidet. It was just extra weight. Um, I'm going to have wipes. I probably don't need this much. And then I just took 
a regular uh, grocery bag to pack out my used toilet paper. So let's just take this out right now. Oh, the joys of pruning. I'll usually put this on one side, have my water in the middle, I know, your poop stuff by your water, and then I'll put my rain jacket here, uh, especially if it looks like it's gonna rain. On either side, a Gossamer Gear umbrella. I have my tent stakes here in these side pockets. This um, little tag uh, with my trail name on it um, from Taps and Snacks Designs. They're on Instagram, you should check them out. Oh my God, this is heavy. Okay, starting off, I have my Garmin InReach Mini. Then I have this uh, Gossamer Gear holder for the umbrella. I haven't used it. Yeah, man, this first few hikes, these first few hikes are gonna be insane. I got this chicken, I don't know, here's, here's that. I got, um, this is a water bottle holder last year um if you watched any of my videos you'd see my water bottle was just hitting me in my face um so i finally found something that's gonna work for me it is uh taking place in my fanny pack the first thing i always want to have close with me is my anti-chafe um that is the monostat um anti-chafe relief gel sunscreen and a lip balm with spf I love bird's bees. Then on the inside, I will put my phone and I also have my DJ Osmo, DJI Osmo. Okay, this is the thing that I plan to shoot off of the most. Um, and I can do a review on it, but it has a gimbal. So when you're walking, it doesn't shake as much. So my phone will go in here with this, it's weatherized. I don't remember where I got it, but Mike Lawrence Marmalade, um, he has one and reach out to him because I don't remember. All right, side pockets. Okay, I fashioned myself a sunglasses holder out of some Amazon stuff, bubble wrap. And these are my polarized lenses. And these are chums to keep them on my body. I don't lose them. All of my permits. And a body suns sunscreen. Um, I like to use this on my face and on my legs and on the back of my hands. All right, on this side is more of my uh, first aid, um, hygiene. Um, I probably won't have all of these masks in this pocket. Um, and I might end up just taking one and then one medical mask. Um, but yeah, um, I have my first aid kit, uh, some water purifying tablet, tablets, an extra O-ring, Swiss Army knife, um, some ibuprofen. Um, I got one set of hot hands, an extra water bottle holder, or <laughs> a cap, and then um, some tenacious tape, uh, toenail clippers, and a lighter. And then an entire roll, because it is absolutely necessary for me personally um, to have an entire roll of Luco tape. chance to train. Oh God. It's going to be interesting. A lot of huffing and puffing on this, uh, well, you know, heavy breathing. I won't be huffing. So here we go. Let's dive in. I love the roll top bags. Right now, the way it is, doesn't make sense to me. There's no reason for me to have my Sea to Summit sleeping pad on top. There's just not. So anyway, Sea to Summit sleeping pad. It's the ultralight women's 
this bag itself um, ends up being like a, a blow up sack, the pump sack. My ground sheet, it is a polymer, um, it's polymer and I got it from Gossamer Gear, it's very light. The one that comes with my tent is just way too heavy. Um, my electronics go in my teal electronic bag. Um, I got this bag custom made from Hilltop Packs. And my ditty bag with all my medicine and all that good stuff is in here. The Enlightened Equipment Visp rain jacket. I like it, it folds up super small. I'll show a picture of it, very light. I like having that actually on the outside of my pack, um, but due to the water carry in the first 20 miles, it'll probably be inside my pack. Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2. Um, this does have tent poles that will go on one side of my pack. This dog will not stop barking. I'm gonna go ahead and use a stuff sack this year. Just, I was noticing some puckering on my bug net and uh, this is my home for five to six months and I should treat it with a little bit of respect. So I just actually fold it. I leave the end a little bit open and then can compress it. Then closest to my back is my food bag. Um, this is the z Packs food bag. Normally I, in the desert, just would take this, uh, op sack, uh, lop sack, odor-proof bag. This is food for, um, uh, three days. Um, I want to take my time, the first 20 miles. I also have some extra um, turmeric tea and um, some other electrolytes. I won't be able to fully resupply until um, Mount Laguna. This is the Osprey uh, 15 liter dry bag I took last year. I love it because I uh, not only put my clothes in there, but I can use it as a pillow. Extra pair of underwear. Normally I actually, actually wear two pair of underwear, um, so that would be my extra pair. Um, extra pair of socks. Okay, well, I just found out that, wow, I just can't, caught that. Okay. Uh, the case that I have for my phone is awesome. I have my Melanzana hoodie that I like to wear all the time. My Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex Jacket. Um, I can do a review on this, but I think if you actually go back and look through my videos, you'll see what I like about it and what I don't. Just some Amazon um, liner gloves, and they have that thing on them so you can use your um, smartphone. Goose feet down booties that I will wear um, at night. The one thing I can't find are my sleep pants. So I actually will be probably wearing um, my Columbia rain pants that my mom is currently um, adjusting for me as I am wider in the middle, but short in the legs and knees. Um, my pants have to be um, hemmed and taken in and all that good stuff but I'll probably just use that to sleep in. Um, yeah. Ivy's kitchen gloves. I'll show you a little video. She has this hack where she uses this with her gloves to keep her fingers warm. Um, so I thought I'd try it. However, um, I might actually have Joe bring them He's going to be meeting me in Idlewild and he's gonna bring me whatever I need to climb Mount San Jacinto. Yeah. Overkill, okay. I'm probably not, I'm not gonna take this whole bag, but this is uh, extra permit 
a paper map, um, and my like serial killer um, paperwork and annotate. Since I am taking a stove, make myself a food koozie. Pot koozie. A pack liner, and this is from Garage Grown Gear. It, it's really loud. So this is my quilt. It is an Enlightened Equipment short wide custom um, revelation. Um, this is a stuff sack with room to spare. Last year, I did not use a stuff sack, so I might um, get rid of this at, at some point, but I do like the idea of having things compartmentalized. Okay, so that is it for my pack, and I will be doing a Q&A video, so reach out with your questions, and